All right, so today we're going to be starting our circular weavings. You can see my example here. I know it's kind of hard to see the kind of whitish string on my white plate, but we are starting with a plate that's going to be our loom. A loom is a device made for weaving, and when we weave on a loom, we add some strings around it to create the warp. Those are the warp strings, and then we'll slowly start to kind of weave it. Here's my kind of weaving in the center so far and add our left strings. But we have to get our loom ready. We gotta prep our loom. So you should have a piece of scotch tape um, or masking tape with your name on it and you should have a piece of string and a plate. So I'm gonna put that um, the masking tape over um, my string and then I'm ready to weave. So I'm actually going to flip my plate over and I'm going to bring my string up and through one of the notches. You have about 18, 19 different notches around there. And we're going to start weaving it. So I'm going to go straight across to the opposite side. I should kind of have a straight line there. I don't want to go too tight, but I don't want it to be like loose and kind of look like that either. That's not what we want. So pull it tight. And then instead of crossing along the back and just kind of wrapping it around like this, that's a no-no. We don't want to do that. What we're going to do instead is we're going to bring it across. So if this is my string, I'm going to bring it across the back and then tuck it into my next notch. So you can see it creates this like stitch pattern there. So I'm going to make an X on the front only, stitch it across and then through. Okay, then we're gonna kinda keep adding more and more X's as we go. So go through that notch, stitch it across the back, through it. Okay, so now it's sticking out. I'm gonna find the next one, make another X. I'm gonna stitch it across the back and through. I'm gonna show you what I don't want to see again. If I'm just looping this around here, all of a sudden I'm gonna look at the back and I'm gonna have some extra lines. I don't want that. This is the only piece that should be on the back. So if you see this, or if I see that, I'm gonna make you undo it. And I'm gonna make you try it again, okay? We shouldn't have any pieces on the back. We should just have these stitching pieces along the back. So I'm gonna go across, X, across, pull it a little bit tighter. Okay, oops, X, across, X, across, X, bring it across, and then back through, and I have no notches left, my string is in the front, that is perfect. If I look at the back, I've got good stitches all the way around, and I just have my one piece of string. So our warp strings are finished, and we're ready to actually start weaving. So when we weave, we always follow an over-under pattern. So it really doesn't matter which direction I want to go in, but I am gonna add, before I weave, I'm gonna add a popsicle stick to the end. So I'm gonna get another piece of masking tape. I'm gonna put that on there. Okay, oops. I'm gonna wrap that around nicely so I don't have any pieces that are gonna snag. And this is just gonna make our life a little bit easier when we weave. So, like I said, over, under, pattern. I'm gonna go in this direction because it's easier for me. So, this is my first string. I'm gonna go over it, under the next, over, under, over, under. And I can do a few at a time like this and then kind of pull it through. So I just finished, that one was under, over, under, over, under. Mm -hmm over, under, and I'm going to pull it through. It's going to start to come together in the middle a little bit more. Under, over, under, ooh. under, over, and I'm just working in a circular pattern. I'm just going to keep going around and around. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Sometimes the popsicle sticks kind of get snagged, but notice how I'm using my finger and I'm kind of pulling it tighter so it kind of um, bunches in the little in the middle a little bit more. There's a fine balance with weaving. Sometimes you can pull things too tight. Sometimes you don't pull them tight enough. Okay, but 
pull that through and I'm just gonna keep going around until I have about a fingers length worth of my string left so this one I'm gonna switch to this one I'm probably at a good stopping point so once I get to here when I don't have a ton of my yarn left I'm ready to switch to my next color and when I do that let's say I'm using my brown next I'm just gonna have to knot these together and we'll just keep weaving from there so I'll add another video later on that shows more of the process of how to weave but this one shows us at least how to kind of get started and how to add our warp strings <laughs>